Heather Nobles here with Simplify Design and we're here today doing interviews with um, members of the community in the city of Westminster and um, we really appreciate this time to spend and get to know some of the local businesses better. Uh, today we have we have Keegan and Zach from Park Place and um, we're glad that you guys came out to talk with us a little bit today about our event. Um, we're having a Veterans Freedom Festival here in town. I know that y'all came on pretty early wanting to support it and we appreciate that. Um, and that's gonna be on August the 12th. Um, and it's gonna be an all day festival from one to 10. We're gonna have five amazing bands, lots of businesses out here, um, lots of vendors, and we're gonna have free gifts for veterans. We're gonna have some service, some people here that serve veterans with on-site resources. So I'm really looking forward to this event. Um, and we just love Westminster. We moved here last year with our business, Simplify Design. Um, would y'all like to tell us a little bit about yourselves and your business and why you love Westminster, South Carolina? <laughs> oh, I love Westminster. I've lived here a good part of my life now, I guess over half of it. And it's a wonderful little town. Um, Growing up as a teenager, I didn't always do the right thing and, and tended to get in trouble and not make the town a, a much better place. And then as an adult, I've tried to kind of reverse that and make the town a little bit better place. Amazing. Um, with our business, uh, we kind of stumbled into it. We started trying to buy a hardware store in 2017, I think, and decided to put in a little lunch counter for guys coming in uh, off job site, not even serving food. We just wanted to have an air conditioned place for people to come in, wash your hands, sit down and enjoy your bag lunch, and then pick up your afternoon supplies, take back to the job site. And then um, we never were able to close the deal on the hardware store, but the lunch counter idea just evolved into what we've got now. <laughs> Amazing, and I've been in to Park Place. Um, the ice cream is wonderful, and we've had um, the sandwiches is a great little place. Sometimes if we have meetings with a client, um, we would, you know, maybe take the sandwiches. It's great to just kind of run by, grab and right. meet them wherever because we've met on a farm before. So um, I love what y'all got going on and it's a great place for people from the community to come together and talk and have some laughs and all that good stuff too as well. Um, I know y'all are really active in the community here um, and y'all have a big family. Um, what makes you want to support the Veterans Freedom Festival or festivals like this? Uh, well, we need to support veterans because they support us. They, they take care of us. Uh, I've been with the Sons of the American Legion for uh, 2015, I guess, um, here in town, uh, post 107. And we've done a lot of veterans fundraisers, uh, a lot of projects to help veterans. And it, it's incredibly rewarding. Uh, that you won't find a better group of people that are more appreciative of help and deserving of help and a lot needing help and it's that's important right. that we all pitch in and help. I agree um, and that's that's the reason we wanted to do this festival is because there is a lot of um, underserved or not served veterans especially in this area and so how, why not have a day to celebrate them um, you know give back to them and have a place where they can find help there while they're there because a lot of them won't reach out right. so if those resources are there they're coming out with their family to have fun hopefully they can also if they're in need they'll be able to find um, a source to to feel that need um, because there is there's a lot of them that are suffering and we're excited about some things we're wanting to do through this event um, which is operation south carolina strong where um, our visa are donated to veterans and then they can actually live in them so we're um, trying to acquire some more property for that now but we already have one veteran being served um, so it's just amazing you know I'm very low income they can get a new start and as it grows we want to have a community of veterans there because they're going to relate to each other and then have services there for them hey come in if you're going to talk about this fishing trips bonding things counseling if they need it um, and that's that's our big goal through with this event and and growing forward so we're excited about that and um, we're excited about talking with heroes as well which is another platform that will be served through this event um, and, and it's the same thing people that support veterans it's a place where you can put people's stories out like what we're doing right now um, and not be censored so we're excited about that as well so take a look at that um, veteransfreedomfestival.org is the website and um, 
you can look at some of these projects that we have going on and really wonderful stuff for our veterans. So thank you for wanting, and thank you for being, um, I just learned about the Sons of the American Legion. Yeah. We're, and we're, so I've, I've heard some wonderful things that y'all have done um, yeah. today from some people. And so I appreciate that. Um, a lot of times that gets overlooked. Um, families of those that serve, serve with them, children, spouses. Um, so having that, I mean, that just really, it's like, wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Uh, one of our bands is a child of a veteran and then um, so I, I want this, so this event's for everybody. Um, we're all celebrating our veterans, but we're also celebrating coming together, networking, hopefully being able to have a fruitful day and, and, really, um, and really help and serve our veterans. Oh. Um, festivals like this um, bring people out and it, and it has a chance for businesses. Do you think that that's good for Westminster? Has that been like Rockman's Westminster, the oh, Bigfoot absolutely. Festival? Um, yes. It's, we've seen very sharp increases in sales during festivals, uh, which is impressive. For one, we're not on Main Street, and two, there are vendors on Main Street selling food, and they still, it, it still increases our sales. It brings more people to town. The more activity you have, the more everyone benefits. Um, I, I believe... The kids, the kids yes. themselves, they get a chance to go out and yeah. explore life and just have fun and make new friends and meet new people. And understand what it means to be a community. That's what, and that's what I love about Westminster. Um, we've been at, so welcoming here and everyone here seems to work together so well as a team. Mm -hmm. um, and so everyone that gets to come to the festival that has not been here is really, I think, gonna be like, wow. And um, because that's so important, it's key to everything is working together. Um, through this event, I'm hoping that different veteran organizations can come together. Sometimes yeah. it's hard, you know, we've got this going on, that going on. Let's all promote each other. Let's all work together because it takes a, everyone. Yeah. And there's there's plenty to do. It's just like as a small business owner, we know there's always plenty to do. Just like the Newtown logo, <laughs> together we grow. Together we grow. That's awesome. Um, well, I don't know if there's anything I haven't touched on that you would like to add. I know that y'all have a special anniversary coming up. Um, so we definitely want to mention that at Park Place. If you want to tell them a little bit about it. We opened July 4th last year and we've got a big anniversary coming up. We're hoping to do a lot for the community, um, bring everybody together and just celebrate. Yeah, celebrate Park Place and mm -hmm. ice we're cream and fun and families. We're going to have a Dunkin' booth and all proceeds are going to the Sons of the American Legion if anybody wants to dunk me. Okay, yeah, we might have to get. Yeah, we'll have to come. <laughs> yeah, well, that's wonderful. Um, I'm delighted to have met you guys. I've heard all wonderful, amazing things since we've moved here from Reggie and everyone else. It's like, you got to talk to Zach, you got to talk to Zach. So I know you're a fundamental part of this community and they appreciate you. And I know that you appreciate them as well. It takes that to make things run smoothly, all working together. And um, thank you for what y'all do in the community and what y'all do with your big family yeah. Um, because yeah, that's our generation coming up. And just like you said, kids activities and like this event and like what y'all are having at your anniversary party, it's great because kids are not together enough and our society is unsocializing. Mm -hmm. And it's so wonderful to have times where the parents can have fun, the grandparents can have fun, the children can have fun. Yep. Um, and there's something for everyone and we're gonna have that. Um, at the Veterans Freedom Festival at Well. We will have a kids activity area. Um, Brandy Brockman's gonna be helping us with that. Um, and she's wonderful with Upstate Get Snacks. So, awesome. um, is there anything I missed there? No, that's, no. Um, we just wanna have a good time. Oh, good. We Eight years too. ago, I kept hearing about how awful Westminster was and I believe it. I haven't it. seen it. That's what, I started looking around and, and I couldn't see it. I started seeing, well, if we give people a, some good memories, maybe they'll stop saying such bad things about town and having good memories, <laughs> not bad ones. Yeah, and y'all are definitely growing and there's definitely a spirit of light and good here and community. And people that come to the festival are gonna see that if they don't already know. And I'm excited for all the growth that you have going on in the city. I know there's just a big news today. Um, got a huge, was it five million? From um, Hall Street, yeah. Yes, that's gonna be wonderful. yeah, Grant, that's gonna be great. And so, and then the senior sitters, the seniors outreach center as well. So something for everybody. Yeah. They're also working on sides. the grant for the new park next to the new park as well. well. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They uh, supposed to be breaking ground late summer. Uh, they were working on uh, get some red tape cleared up for the DOT, I think. And then, Amazing. Then we'll have a so there's so much going on. 
I've, 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 still, I've still got studying to do since I am new to Oconee <laughs> County in the area. I'm still learning and I'm, I'm thankful for people like y'all that are uh, kind and It's an exciting welcome to be an Oconee resident. <laughs> <laughs> so um, again, thank you for joining. Um, I'm Heather Nobles with Simplified Design. Um, we are a local family, small business as well. And um, we're excited to be here. We're excited to be having this event in Westminster. And you guys come out August the 12th, 2023. Um, go to our website, veteransfreedomfestival.org. We need support. We need sponsors. We still have room for vendors. Um, come out and see us, and thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. <laughs>